Not bad. Is it Jean-Michel approved? Oh yes, I knew that. Hello my fellow petrol heads and welcome back to the channel. So today is a quite special day to me. If you didn't notice yet, we will review a French car, which is the Renault Megane R26R from 2008. And this is really special to me because uh, this is a car from my fatherland, obviously. And uh, I'm really happy to, uh, to make a video about a French car and also about uh, a front wheel drive because I don't think I, uh, I tried any car of this uh, kind yet. So because of uh, my French proudness is uh, absolutely melting uh, everywhere uh, right now, I'm going to make the review of this car with the French accent. So I'm not sure you will notice any difference, but uh, uh, well, it, it will be quite fun. And as always, I will try this car uh, in its stock version and in its upgraded version. So be sure to check the entire video. So this car is 123 kilograms lighter than the R26, the R26, sorry. So basically everything is removed like seats, some airbags, climate controls, and it has also some parts made of carbon fiber and new springs. At the time it was the fastest front wheel production car on the Nürburgring in 8 minutes and 17 seconds. So extremely fast. So now let's take a look at uh, this car's performance. So this car basically uh, is equipped with a 2 liters turbocharged inline 4. It makes 227 brake horsepower and it weighs a little bit more than 1.2 tons. So this is front engined, obviously, with a manual uh, six speed transmission. And it will be uh, quite in interesting to drive. Uh, normally it should be uh, quite easy in the, in the normal version, in the stock version. But I think that uh, the upgraded version will be a little bit difficult to drive. But let's see right now. Okay, getting back to my uh, normal Franklish accent. A little bit of uh, wheel spin at the beginning of the race right here, but not too much. So this car's acceleration is uh, pretty good at the moment. It handles very, very well, so uh, really uh, easy car to drive. The car feels uh, really stiff, so really easy to uh, to uh, go around the corners with that. Quite turning flat, so that's great. Be careful uh, at the exit of the slow corners not to uh, accelerate too early because uh, as you uh, maybe saw, uh, I had a little bit of understeer, so uh, need to be careful uh, on these points. Okay, first fast corners. I'm basically flooring it at the moment, so uh, really easy to uh, to drive in the fast corners also. Okay, coming up to the first uh, heartbreaking point, so let's see how it goes. Okay, quite quite a good braking. Uh, we really need to be careful uh, not to brake too hard because the brakes are. Uh, extremely um, aggressive so that's uh, those are uh, brembo brakes and uh, actually this is uh, uh, this is really uh, efficient and uh, and re really uh, direct if you will so be careful not to uh, not to go too hard on the brakes because uh, otherwise you'll go uh, straight uh, uh, entering the corner 230 kilometers per hour Yeah, 234, so not, uh, not so much, but uh, uh, quite good for a car of this class. And we, un we are now entering the cost sector, so let's see how it, uh, how it goes on the bumps, but uh, uh, because of the not so high speed this car has, it shouldn't be a, a really difficult uh, part to manage. Yeah, so the, the cost sector was a 
quite easy to manage. Uh, and coming up to the last two corners. Trying to uh, get these uh, last turns uh, as best as I can. As good as I can, sorry. Trying to get the apex. And the cross the line. And we did our best lap in 11.59, so uh, quite a great lap. Almost 12 minutes, so uh, not so bad actually. Uh, now we'll see uh, how the upgraded version of this car uh, looks. So guys, here we are again with the upgraded version of this car and the French accent. So the power is up to uh, about, I think, 500 horsepower. The weight went down by 100 kilograms approximately. And uh, I put on this car all the uh, other upgrades, so uh, race tire compound, um, aerodynamics. But I didn't change the engine, I just put uh, all the uh, upgrade parts on it. So let's see how this car drives. And here we go, so as you can see a lot of, uh, of wheel spinning at the, at the start. Uh, I think that this car will be uh, really challenging to, to drive. This is uh, still front-wheel front drive, so no change at all regarding the, uh, the uh, transmission. This is definitely uh, much uh, stiffer than, uh, than before. Also much faster, as you can see the acceleration uh, is, uh, is really good. A lot of uh, understeer at the exit of the corners because of the uh, of the additional power and uh, uh, with everything on the front wheels, this is defi definitely difficult. We must really be careful not to accelerate too early at the exit of the corners, otherwise we go straight in the landscape. Two hundred and fifty kilometers per hour coming up to the first fast corners of the track. So the car behaves pretty well in the fast corners, as you can see, pretty easy to uh, to manage. Whenever you go on a bump uh, in a fast corner, you need to be careful on your uh, on your gas pedal because uh, if you're just uh, flooring it uh, at the time you get on the bump, then the the wheel begin begin to to spin and uh, the car begins to be quite uh, uh, difficult to, to drive and, uh, and uh, it, steers, uh, it steers really uh, straight so uh, be careful not to, uh, not to floor it uh, in the fast corners and, uh, and bumps. Okay, big braking point incoming. So quite a, quite a good braking. As you saw at the exit of the corner, I, I was a little bit too early on the gas pedal and the car went a, a little bit straight. So that's what I said before. Uh, really, uh, we need to be careful uh, regarding uh, regarding reaccelerations. And coming up to the big straight, 280 kilometers per hour already. 290. 295 maybe yes so 295 quite fast and coming up to the cost sector so as always guys you I think you know what I will say about this definitely not too optimistic regarding this uh, this sector of the track with this car So the first few bumps were uh, okay to, to deal with. Hopefully we have the aerodynamics that contri contribute to uh, keep the car on track. Coming up to the last two corners. Trying to concentrate a little bit. 
as you can see the the front wheels really struggle to uh, uh, to find the grip because of the uh, of the high power of this car and we're in the last straight 270 kilometers per hour across the line so best lap in 10 minutes and 8 seconds so great lap actually uh, this car is definitely fun to drive easy to drive in stock version a little bit difficult to drive in the upgraded version because of the high power on the front wheels uh, hopefully the aerodynamics are really uh, helping a lot to keep the car on track but a uh, really good car and uh, a really nice car from uh, my fatherland definitely so guys thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe uh, if you would like to see any car uh, especially please indicate it in the comments down below if you would like to see the engine swap version of this car please also indicate it in the comments down below so see you later guys bye